It's high noon. Draw! Oh yeah! Hello, the last in 347. Time to play for the Dark Souls 2 Skylar Sin. And last time, yeah, I made a few mistakes. Unfortunately. But, I got through it. And I managed to be scared to know it as well. And make it to the Harvest Valley. However, though, I noticed that I did need to start making weapons which are based on basis for my stats. So basically off screen I went to Strayed and got myself a few uh, soul weapons from bosses. I uh, got the Warring Hellbird and also the Dragon Warriors Hellbird. Basically you just exchange the souls, pay 1500 souls, 1500 and then you get it. That's it. However they deliver these up though you need petrified something to level them up. This one is pretty sweet because it scales in with darkness and uh, physical and in the dark status. Downside is it's really heavy and also as you can see it only has 40 stability. Not the best one which is why I have an axe as a backup. And because of that I also decided to get myself the kite shield instead, uh, the royal kite shield instead of the, the dragon Age shield. It has the same 100% block but it's actually slightly lighter. Although the Mazadra. So I have the usual medium wall, which is fine. I don't mind the medium wall. I'm okay with that. But this spear is pretty damn good. And spin to win. The Hellbird is also good as well, but I need 20 strength for that as well. And I was thinking that could be a good alternative to this. If I can scale it to darkness, if I had a few dark stones or something as an alternative. Or magic, you know, that sort of thing. But today, we're going to do some optional stuff. There are two bosses we can fight. One is near where Huntsman's Corpse is. There's one area which I didn't explore. But we're actually going to go to the area that Nick saw back in, uh, in the last Bastille. Basically, the Servant Quarters. There's one area I didn't go to because I didn't feel like I wanted to do that fight just yet. But I feel a bit more confident now, so we're going to do it. Also, uh... Oh, I uh, should make myself human as well. Uh, which is I don't want to. Oh, I really am. Okay, so if we go down here, this is where we didn't go to down before because I didn't need to, you know, point. Even if I did, I didn't have any um, ferrous lock stones, so I couldn't go on further, so it would have been pointless. But we got two, so we can use one now. Yes, if you don't have ferrous lock stone, then you can't do this yet because neither one actually get to there. So you go down here, which is super dark. Which is covered by a hello, and another one of these guys. Yep. I'm going to try my axe actually. Oh, be careful. Um, yeah, these are explosive. Come on. Actually, if I can beat you, that'd be great. Because... Then, I'll be able to get some more Twinkling Titanite. Which is perfect. Because I could use I could use one to help towards my uh, staff I have. Oh, no, here we go. Hmm. Do my spells do more damage? Ow! Let me check. Hmm, I'm gonna do actually. Yep, this dark orbit. Oh, remember, that causes curse. We don't want that. Oh my god. That would have killed me. Yeah, definitely. If I didn't dodge there, I definitely would have been dead. Got ya, son of a gun. 
Ooh, some souls. And a Twinkling Titanite. Knight. Thank you. That's what I want. I'm gonna get a large club. That's not bad. Ah, I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to burn my Sublime Bone Dust. I keep forgetting to do that. Uh. Yeah, I'm doing that right now. I need the extra healing. I don't know why I keep forgetting to do that. Doesn't matter. The dark, um, the dark pursuer won't be coming back. Because I need to heal up anyway. Alright then. Wait a second, I'll be back in a bit, guys. Oh, I can't believe I forgot to do that. Duh. <sighs> See you guys in a bit. Oh, I'm back. And you can see, Essence is now plus two. So you need a first lock stone here. And let's see. Where is it? Right here. Boom! And here's this crazy guy right here. Complete nut job. <laughs> Literally. He is not in the right frame of mind. So you can join his no one on the guard your stupid bell. <laughs> Useless fool. Be gone right now and it's off with your head. Yeah, but he's completely nuts. You see these guys? Yeah. All because they're guarding this ridiculous bell. But anywho, this is prime for invasions as well, which is annoying. Ugh. Hmm. What the? Uh, eh. I just rush through this a bit later. Right now, I'm just gonna go through the proper way. So, ah, uh. oh, bell keeper shield. Okay. Huh. Anywho, yeah, they're small, so they're a little hard to hit. What's annoying about them? Ah! Masterless Glen, yes. You can join us once again to help us in our you know, endeavor if we want. I'll summon him a bit later. For now, I want to ring this bell. saw me. Ow! Uh -huh. Okay. Now to open that gate. Let's see if we don't get invaded. Okay. Let's see. Oh wow, yes. That's much better. Just be careful. There's a lot more of them here than you think. And uh you don't want to find more at once. Get 
this quick. Nice. And if we go around here, this will unlock the gate. Good. Now that we've done that, check around here first. Yeah, hear that? Yep, now we can go towards the boss. Before that, there is one thing we can do, which is go down this little hole. Oh, I didn't see you. Yeah, yeah you get a lot of skept skeptic spice here. It's perfect if you're trying to get a particular spell. Here we are, right here. Do to your same wing, that's nice. Let's get this spice. Yeah, nice try something there. And that just Yeah, that just leads to where the other way was. Alright. Alright, Masters Glen, let's do this. I should be okay with the spells I have. Yeah, but don't worry, you don't worry, don't have to, don't have to do this every time. Once you go up there and reset the bell, then we can then uh, we can just run up and rush up here. Here we are. Okay then. You guys don't particularly wait to thunder and stuff, so you can use that as well to help you out. But they're pretty good against magic as well, that's why I'm using it. Yeah no. This Glen, where are you? There we are. Yep, and that's why this fight is annoying. More of them will start coming in. So you get completely overwhelmed. One down. Ow. Oh, oh, my God, I didn't see that one. Yeah, watch out for the fire breath. Yes! Yep. Oh no! Damn it! Clap! So I hate this fight so much. It's their numbers. Whoa! Another one down. Well, I think we're almost done. Oh, thank you, Masses Game. Okay. Make this fight far less frustrating. Oh, damn it! Oh, crap! Whew. Oh, I think we're almost done. Yes, this is the last one. Yes! Thank you, Masters Glen. <laughs> Woo! Uh, that one is so annoying. 
Sword Proud Knight, that's great. If there's anything else around here. Ugh. That they were done. With that boss. Ugh. Hate that fight so much. Simply because there's a number on them. And yeah, that's a bonfire over there. <laughs> and the seven ritual band. Nice. There. Yeah, that's uh, the belfry. So there. Oh great. Now for the most frustrating part. This is going to be fun. Basically there's a bunch of dogs down there. And an NPC summon. Oh my god, no! And yeah, that's, that's pretty much the problem. It's stupid and cheap and unfair. It sucks. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna need my quicker weapon. Yeah, the hell builds good and all, but I need something that's nimble. I don't lose those souls that I work so hard to get. Ah, I know. Yep, a fire long sword. That would do. Hmm? Oh, see, I was trying to beat it with one hand, not two. Okay. Oh, God! All right. It'd be fun to like oh, see if I can actually hit them. Oh, they hate this so much. It's just bullshit. Again, you're panicking so much, making so many mistakes that, ugh. But yeah, that's why I hate it. It, it it's ridiculous. There's dogs annoying enough, but then that? It's all kind of bullshit. Right. Oh, thank goodness. I got rid of most of them now. It's just this one small dog. There's so many of them, and it's just absolute bullshit. Okay. There! Alright, asshole. It's you and me. Yeah, asshole. Mm -hmm. Urgh. Eat it, bitch. You can see why they call you a sinner, because you're an asshole. Uh. Uh. There. But you actually get something pretty nice. The dragon tooth. Petrified swimming, which is nicer too. And white bug. Up here, I think you get a uh, enchanting falchion. Huh? That might actually be a good alternative. Let's have a look at it. It's enchanted, but hmm. 
Wait, what's that? Bleed effect? I'm gonna go with something enchanted about. Oh, that's a D rank with magic. Doesn't add any magic stat. Huh. But yeah, that's pretty good, that uh, Dragon Tooth for those many fighters. It's yeah, quite brutal, actually. Actually, I'm going to keep this Fire Sword on. It might be useful for the next fight as well. Yes. Ugh. But there. <laughs> Alright. Well, before we finish off, there's actually some hidden things we can get here, which I forgot, which I um, didn't know about. I'm doing a bit more research. Invisible enemies. Good news is, though, they're very easy to find. Uh, let's see, it's, I'll do the one that towers apart first. But yes, yeah, there's actually a few invi two invisible enemies I missed here. So, let's get those first. My torch. This won't take very long. We need to go in there. And we've already beaten the Dark Basura. So go through here and... Yep! A smooth and silky stone. Yeah. Crazy, right? But that's not the only one. There's another one as well. Needs to get back quickly. I don't want to fire those other enemies again. <laughs> so we go to the next bonfire, which is also in Lost Bastille, which is, let's see, uh, Strayed Cell. That's it. Let's go back here. Like so. Okay. Now again, we need a torch here. We also need the um, the Bastille key as well. So go here, and yep, another one right there. is isn't just for that item, it's for him too. And there was to be with Silky Stone. Nice. But oh yeah, I keep forgetting to show this off. So if you go to the trade, this is where I basically got the trade sold for him. That's where I got the Dragon Rider and Roy Hailbird. Actually, let's have a look at the... We actually got a Gargoyle sold in me, so let's see. Gargoyle Bident? Hmm. Oh, you got your strength though. A strength though, but it's a first and strike sphere. That's interesting. But, anywho, that's pretty much signs there for trade. You can actually use them for something else as well. Blah, 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 I know. Ugh. So, next up, we're going to go to Hunt's uh, Man Cups and actually, um, and actually get, and actually go for the next boss, who is actually a little more tougher. Don't get me wrong, the Gargoyles one is tough. That's only because they're numbers. That's why it's best to use an NPC summon. I was lucky I was not invaded at all. Usually that's, that place is a spew for invasions. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'll be back uh, at Huntsman's Cops once I've uh, accumulated, once I've used my points a bit. So see you guys then. And I am back. I'll clear the way a little bit to save a bit of time. But, uh, yeah, there was one way we didn't go to earlier. Which is right through here and past this small bridge. Yeah. We'll come across a new type of enemy. Those ones. Oh. Yeah, they're still brutal and do a ton of damage. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. We're gonna have to use the dark orbs. I don't want to, but we're gonna have to against those things. Yeah. Sad, they don't drop their weapon though, which is a shame. Would have been cool to see what the weapon what weapon that would be like, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, be careful. There's a lot of these guys, more than you think. They like to hide out of nowhere. The worst part is, is that their weapon does magic damage, so it can't even block entirely. Ah, oh, come on! Ah, oh, that's bullcrap. <sighs> I should have killed him. <sighs> yeah, this is the annoying part. Just getting to the fight can be just as annoying because of how tough these enemies are. Okay. Let's notch a whip. Another whip. Again, great for enemies that don't have any armor, but not against enemies that do have armor. Now be careful, there's a lot of hidden enemies here. Hiding. It's an ambush here. Yeah, you can see him. Just be patient and wait for them to drop down. Yeah, they drop down from those pipe poles right there. Yep, that one has a whip. Yeah, again, very annoying to fight. That's not all of them. There we go. Hmm, what do they drop? I don't know if with eye orb. But yeah, I know they don't drop their weapons. That's not all of them. Come on. I see ya. Yeah. Eh, <sighs> oh wait. Left one down, and... Yeah, that's it. Ugh. I'll be careful across this bridge. There are a few enemies hanging up above it. Come on, where are you? Come on out. There's an NPC. Oh, there they are. Hmm. You just want to come up. That's odd. Oh, there you go. It gets a bit slow in the uptake. Now there's another one around here. Ah, oh, there you are. Come on. Come on. Get up. Get up, I know you go on the I know you want to. Come on, get up. There you are. And now for the NPC summon. <sighs> yep, right there. This guy. Oh, 
Oh my god. He's gonna kill me. <laughs> and he did. Yep. That's the NPC summon. Ugh. This is why I want to save some of these for later. I'll be back once I go to there again. Ugh. These ones are so annoying. <laughs> ah, and I'm back. Alright, let's try it again. Yeah, he has a great sword. Damn it, I can never dodge that in time. Oh, he's dead. <sighs> yeah, whoopsie do. Then you won't be coming back now. Uh, hmm. You know what? I'm gonna get that afterwards, just in case. Got four S's flasks and some healing, so I should be okay. All right, now for this fight. Very annoying. Basically, this fight is a bit of a gimmick. There's a way you can easily cheese this fight as well, but I will try to do it a legitimate way. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a puzzle. You'll see soon enough. Yep. Okay then. So what's the deal with this fight? Basically, what you have to do is try and uh, find a necromancer. You need to find that necromancer first. Uh oh. Okay. And you need to hide. Alright, necromancer, where are you? There you are! Whoa! Huh! I... Think? <laughs> I think the chariot just killed a necromancer for me! Oh. You can actually dodge past that spike. The timing is very strict. That's the first necromancer. Oh, it's the second. Whew. There you are. That's the second Incromatzer. We've done it. They're both dead. Run it! That's it. There are two Necromancers. Oh, we actually got them both. Okay, and that's it for like um, the undead enemies. Now what we've got to do is... You see that lever? We've got to push it. 
and the gate fall down. Then... As soon as he comes back... Boom! Yeah, this is where the real fight begins. Oh, be careful. Yeah, he likes to do that move. Yeah, just be careful here. Ooh. Okay, the worst is over now. The cheaper way though is that once um, you got rid of the necromancers and stuff, what you can do is that you can just keep them um, hitting them over and over again. Ugh, there's orbs. Watch out for those. Oh. Whoa, I didn't know he did that. Yep, just be calm. Ooh. Almost got you. Ah, got me there. Got ya! Ow! Oh god, ow, ow! Oh! Oh, that could have almost died there. <laughs> there. Executioner Chariot Soul. Ah, I did that my first try. <laughs> Sweet. But yeah, there are two, you know, that's the trick basically. You need to get rid of the, um. Uh. You need to get rid of, um. The necromancers to stop those skeletons to come back to life. Then you pull the gate and then you take down the horse. Again, the cheap way is to once you got the necromancers, you can hide here, use your binoculars, and just keep shooting him over and over again. Literally. And there's nothing you really do about it. It's quite funny actually. Let's see. Uh, No, that's the way towards out. I need to look to where the covenant is. Yep, this bot, this entire thing is guarding a covenant. Again, mostly for the souls. Uh, not sure about. I don't know the weapons any good for this one. I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay, let's have a quick look. Yep, that's the gate that was broken down. Ah, that's the way to there. Let's go here first, go to that item. Nice. Again, this thing oh, it's really optional. You don't care about any of that stuff, then it doesn't really matter. up here. What is it? Oh, you trot long home. This place won't be any fun. Not for you. What is it? Oh. Yeah, basically, this is a comment for when you actually um, betray people. Like, um, you're covered, like, you're someone that uh, you can even want to help them. But then, like, and say you attack them and all that. That's literally what this is. Huh? 
amber herb. Huh. Didn't I miss that? Okay, let's go get that fire seed. Also, there's, yeah, the skeletons also don't seem to respawn as well. I'm not sure, but I think that even if you don't do very well in this fight, if you at least take out the necromancers, uh, they don't come back. I think. I'm not sure. I need to, say to confirm that. Here we go then. See? NPC gone. And now for this tricky jump. This is useful for those who want to do pyromancy. No, no, no! Wow, that was awful. <laughs> I didn't even jump properly. Okay, I'll be back once I get my souls. Good thing I used that other. Good thing I just activated that bump. Okay, let's try this again. I was trying to get a nice winning start and then jump on that side. Got it! Ugh. Oh, for a fire seed. Yeah, I guess I can explain a bit that what that is now about those fire seeds. Basically, might use this. Basically, fire seeds are used to upgrade your pyromancy flame. Yeah, and like last game where you just simply use titanite shards and large and chunks and that's it. No, nope, but this one, you, they are fire seeds, which is dumb and annoying. Now, I think it's probably the reason why more, maybe more people went up from Pyromancy, because the fact that you had to find fire seeds to upgrade it, it was just so stupid. I don't know why they did this. I'm glad that they uh, came to their senses and realized that uh, people didn't want that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Actually, let's have a look at our weapon we got here. Well, we can exchange for it. Because remember that Sim Souls aren't just for weapons, you can also get particular spells from it as well. That's the other thing. Okay. Well, very tiny. So, trade. Let's see. Mm -hmm. No, I think you here. Chariot Lance. Alright. What about spells? Nope. Do we new here? But okay then. I'll be back once I've again accumulated more of these souls. Again, what I did was actually decide to. Um, I got another attunement slot. That's pretty much what I use it for. But I think I might actually level up some more of my um, endurance and stuff, and maybe some of my um, intellect and faith a bit more. Then afterwards, we're going to do one tiny thing in the Harvest Valley, and then call it a day. Uh, see you guys then. And I am back. I mostly decided to increase my um, endurance, and also my um, bit of health, and my strength. So that way, I can actually um, equip the Halberd. Look like a pretty nice sort of weapon to use. Yes, the the other halberd is good too for darkness and stuff, but uh, but one, it's a lot lighter, and two, with the white stones, I can make it better. So it seems the best of both worlds, quite frankly. But uh, anywho, actually, now that I got the much lighter one, I might as well put back my drag lake shield. Actually, hmm. Uh, huh. It's mostly magic, really. And oh, I, 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 I might keep the other shield on. Uh, yep. That's the only thing right here because all this poison. But luckily, I came prepared and brought this. What the? <laughs> okay, that was funny. <laughs> and now we're going to recruit our next NPC before we finish off. Because I actually want to start making some weapons now which are to do with magic and stuff and I really need some magic stones. I've been unlucky, very unlucky with um, basically um, <laughs> with getting the stones I want from those birds. Unless I haven't, unless I haven't been trading everything properly. But anywho, 
Here we are, another NPC that can tell us something. Are you a traveller? I'm Cloanne, an ore stone trader. I travel about collecting rare stones, which I sell to make my living. I never planned to visit this God's forsaken place. But I don't know. I just sort of ended up here. I must have just wandered in. <laughs> But now that I'm here, I've been scouting around for rare bits. Oh, don't look at me like that. Many of these stones are quite useful. For instance, certain stones are used in smithing. Ah, oh, now your ears prick up. <laughs> I've extras if you can pay. This is my trade, after all. <laughs> so... Yep, you can buy stones from her. Or spells. Uh, she didn't sell them here, but um, basically, uh, if you get her to talk and, and stuff, eventually she'll move on. I came here in search of rare stones, but the place is nothing like I was told. All this poison, and you can't get very far inside. Don't just go haplessly wandering about. These stones may look all the same. But to the trained eye, each is unique. Some of them are used to smith weapons and armor. And some unique stones provide special benefits. Some of them are extremely rare and should be used with great thrift. None of the differences are easily spotted. But I've learned quite a lot, really. <laughs> Drang Lake. How is it that I ended up here? It's funny. I can't seem to remember. I've searched every nook and cranny here. I suppose it's time to move on. Perhaps we'll meet again, if we live that long. <laughs> I've searched perhaps... Oh, excellent. So now, basically, she said she'll move on. I suppose it's about time I moved shop. So, yes, that's what we wanted. So, we can go back to the bonfire like so. There we go, and if we go back, she should be gone now. Hey, nice. So where is she going to end up? She will be a Medulla. Ugh, damn poison. So let's go back to there. And she should appear there now, which is pretty sweet. Go. She should be around. There she is. Yep. And I do actually want to get some stuff here. So, hmm. I usually there are souls right here. I don't plan leveling up. I plan on finally make yourself some decent armor. And fade sword. Oh, these things are crap. <laughs> well, I might as well get rid of them. meeting you here. Speak up if you need anything at all, alright? So, let's see. So, uh, yep, yeah, now uh, she basically um, help us and stuff. These stones may look... some of... Some, none of... It's pretty cool. No interest. Suit yourself. So, if we go and talk to him... I knew you'd be around soon. So I go to talk. You need souls, too. I know, don't we? Hmm. My witless daughter finally came home. Just as oblivious as she's always been. Well, at least now I can keep an eye on her. Stones? Try asking my daughter. You might be surprised. Yep, that's his daughter. What? Do you need something? Uh, let's see. So that's bonfire aesthetic, so you can strengthen it by foes. Uh, what's that do? 
inflicts heavy damage on minus hollows but has no effect on anything else. Exile casts a dark flame upon corpse, casting into combust violently. Hexes such as these are temporary but these types are particularly abhorrent. <laughs> Visit me again, whenever you please. But there we go. But yeah, I, I guess you didn't sell them yet. Or well, maybe we gotta do something else. But it's a problem we got here anyway. So, yep. Alright, with that, I'm pretty much done with most of the optional stuff now. Off screen again, I'm going to um, go and uh, exchange these stones. I think I also need to exchange. Hmm. I think it's petrified something. Small Sue and Silky. Maybe I was thinking of the wrong material. Ah, that's right. Petrified Dragon Bone. Yeah. I haven't exchanged them. Um, I got confused. Uh, I didn't exchange any of these. Petrified. I didn't exchange that, that or something. Hmm. And that was going to do off screen then. But yep. Yeah. So next time, now we're going to explore that Harvest Valley. Now that I feel a bit more uh, stronger and stuff. But yeah, it's time I actually got a much better weapon. I need to do some kind of upgrade. So uh, yeah. But with that, this is Maximum 347. Game mode for life to RG platformer. Stay classy, and it doesn't get harder from here. <laughs>